you ask, I don't seem to have any real questions. That is a great insight. There are no real questions in existence. All questions are false, unreal, non-essential. Because life is not a problem to be solved, it is a mystery to be lived. Only the fools go on questioning and go on thinking that some answers will help them. No answer is going to help you. Every answer will create more questions. You can see the whole history of philosophy. Every answer has brought thousands and unnecessary questions. It has not been an answer. It has been a problem. Every answer. Not a single answer has come out of 5,000 years of philosophizing. Philosophy is not much philosophy. It is a philosophy. <laughs> it is the domain of the fools. Fools are great philosophers. Because they go on and on. They find out a question, then an answer, then the answer brings ten questions, then they go on and on, and the foliage becomes thicker and thicker. The foolishness becomes deeper and deeper. It is good that you cannot find any real questions. Buddha is reported to have said, that a meditator loses all his questions. A moment comes when there are no questions left. And that is the moment when you attain to wisdom. Not to answers, but to wisdom. Wisdom is not an answer. It is unfolding of your consciousness. Not that you come to know something, but you start experiencing life in its totality. It is not an answer, it is an experience. And the experience goes on unfolding. So it is not experience, it is more experiencing. It is a process, not an event.